Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Hyperledger Basu on a Mac OS using a package manager called Homebrew. If you don't have Homebrew installed, you want to visit brew.sh and install this first. Assuming you've got Homebrew installed, let's first confirm that Basu is currently not installed by running basu dash dash version. And you should see something like command not found. Now, to actually install basu, it's actually a very simple command called brew install basu. But if I run this, it won't work because, like you'll see, there's no available formula with the name basu. It's searching for any particular taps on GitHub and there's no taps found. So, brew doesn't actually know what Hyperledger basu is. So, the first step to run is to tap the Hyperledger Basu repository. And we do this by running brew tap Hyperledger forward slash Basu. Now what this command does is it goes ahead into GitHub and it creates a shallow clone. Basically it allows you to access third party repositories. And if I, if I very quickly show you the file location here you'll see that in the homebrew library taps folder I've only got homebrew there at the moment now if I run the command up above you'll see that another folder will appear so let me hit enter what brew does is it's going out to github and then you see hyperledger folder appear now I can go ahead and run a brew install Basu, the enterprise Ethereum client, but I'll also get another er error, and you'll see this when I hit enter. There we go there. So there's an unsatisfied requirement because Basu requires the latest version of JDK, in fact, version 11 or above. So what we can do is run brewcast install adopt open JDK as is suggested in order to have java installed so let's go and run this command brew cast install adopt open jdk now let's go into the seller directory here within brew now if i hit enter here what you'll notice as again, it's going to go out onto the onto the internet and GitHub, grab JDK, and then install it. It's going to need my password, and that's successful. And if I go into the cast room folder, you'll see adopt open JDK here installed. Now that we've got this dependency sorted. Let's go and run the brew install basu command again. You can see now it's downloading from GitHub and it was built successfully in four seconds. So we've got basu installed and let's do a quick double check by going basu dash dash version again. Hit enter and there we have it. The latest version, Abesu version 1.3.8, has been successfully installed.